It is dangerous. You cannot trust it. It's evil. How about if we ask it? Do 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 do. But I am going to test AI. Everybody says all the different things about it, and I don't know what to believe. But using it will be will be the only way to fi figure out what AI is. The first thing that I'm gonna do is easy. I'm gonna see if it can generate realistic or accurate images of a character from a book series I was working on. And okay, this is good, but it's not my character. No matter what prompt I put in there, all the photos are kind of the same. This is almost my character. It did get what I want, but if you look down in the boxes, the ones on the bottom is right. That is my character, but I can't get to it because you have to pay. Look, Facebook is so convenient. And okay, this was a slam dunk. Besides the dumb meta in the comments on the on like a article, everybody is saying blah blah blah. I know that what the comments section is for. You read all the people comments. I, I use Meta every day now. For Meta to work, you just can't ask it simple questions. You put the main question, then you add the factors to it, like A, this, B, this, and it will give you great information. And like, I put psychology and my own problems in there and it has solved my problems uh, yeah like this surpasses all expectations and also what's fun is asking it questions like this For over five years, if you watch any educational videos, you have been listening to AI. I found that out because these two websites, if you click on it and go to them and listen to the audio, you'll recognize every single voice on them because AI has already taken over narration, which is great because not everybody can speak perfectly. I sure can't. And besides, I think that infographics guy, Simon, he is like the only real human that still does narration. And I went and looked at the apps and you have to pay for all of them. Like this one. Oh, it made me so excited when I saw Ghostface. And I thought of like, the whole video came to my head like in five seconds, beginning, middle, end. It would have been epic, but these diamonds, they don't give you enough to do anything. And this one, it seems better. You can watch ads and get extra credits, but this one is by the word. Like if you have 800 credits, that 800 words that you can use. And it seems all right, but you can't make anything major. That's why people who do 
AI versus Yuzo 2 that I showed you already. They are like the best. And hey, if you're making money off YouTube, why not? You know? Now, here's my favorite writing a book. This is what I asked Meta and what it told me. Hey, I typed in the vague stuff to see what it could do. I typed this all up, so, and boom. This is an outline, pretty much. I had to milk it to keep it going. And for an outline, yeah, it's not bad, but I don't really need outline help. And one thing I realized is once you give it feedback, even though you tell it you want things to happen, it kind of dumps what you tell it, and you have to fix the problem. And to go, it's it happened. It see, it dropped dropped another character. Once I fixed that, then I had to tell it this. So because what I wrote is accurate, but I would change some of this. Make it sound realistic because customers are more likely to say, Oh, sorry, I'm messing up what you're doing. You're working too hard to make it nice. And we, we would be like, Oh, oh it's okay. You know, but it's, it's not bad, but it's not written how I would do it. Like, I did this thinking that I would have to edit it if, if it even wrote anything. And, kind of obvious and I did this as a joke to see what he could do sitting down writing a book without AI it's just easier the human mind is more made to write than AI having to plug in the prompts and everything that is involved. I don't know, it that takes too much work. It's not an organic process like sitting down and just doing it on your own. So what did I take out of all this? AI is just something else people can use to create. I find it not ready to the point where it makes the process faster. I think it needs another decade or two before it can become helpful. AI is only as good as the people who make it and the people who is using it. Meta, I'll keep using it and I'm going to try to use the narration but it's going to be li limited. And no, I do not think it's evil. It's as evil as the people who make it. Kind of, kind of like robotics, programming. Humans tell the computer what to do. As long as people remain okay, AI technology is going to be, be okay.